I always use a preset when creating my artworks. It's just so easy to do and it saved me a lot of time and effort. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those who are new to my channel, I am Nathaniel and I create chalk lettering videos and also videos on Creative Life to help you with your chalk and digital lettering as well as your creative struggles. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So in this video, I will be talking about setting up your Procreate on iPad for your digital projects to help you in case you decide to print them later on or sell them online. What is Procreate? It is a digital drawing app on the iPad that retails for about $10 on the App Store. I love it so much because it's so easy to use and there are a lot of brushes that are available. Of course, it may not, it may not be as powerful as Photoshop but it certainly does the job. Procreate is a raster-based app that paints in pixels and not curves. This means that the initial setup of your artboard or canvas is extremely important. Don't you hate it when you view a photo or watch a video and it's so pixelated? Resizing pixel-based art is a lossy process. Imagine having your 2x2 passport photo stretch into the size of a printer paper. So that's gonna be pixelated, right? The photo must meant to be small, so when you stretch the image, there's not information or pixels to draw the bigger picture with. And I'm sure you have thought about creating your art prints or selling your art online on print-on-demand sites like Society6, Redbubble, down the road. And even if you're just starting out, I'm sure that one of your goals later on will be to earn money from your art. And that's why future-proofing your digital art will give you less headaches down the road. You wouldn't want your art to be pixelated, so how do you set it up? Think about the largest size that you would, could be using your art for and use that as your canvas settings. So without further ado, let's talk about the settings that you need to do or you need to have on your Procreate to make sure that you're ready to use them in the future. I'm going to show you how to create a preset canvas and you can create as many as you need. Now for me, because I usually work on a square design for Instagram with a black canvas, I will show you how to do that and you can always tailor it to your purpose later on. Setting up a canvas preset. Number one is of course to load Procreate and click the plus sign on the top right corner. On the new canvas selection, click the plus sign and on the dimensions tab in the untitled canvas, enter 3000 by 3000 and use 300 dpi. Most prints require a minimum of 2000 by 2000 pixels and 200 dpi. However, it is recommended to set 300 dpi for most art prints if you want high quality prints. DPI means dots per inch and the higher the number means means that the more details can be printed. Setting your art to 300 dpi means that even if we resize it later on, more details will be retained in the photo or your art and it will be less pixelated. The number of layers that you can have on the Procreate app is dependent on the settings that you enter. Because Procreate uses the onboard memory, the better your iPad specs means the more layers you can use. Next up would be color profile. Screens usually show RGB, red, green, and blue colors and their mixes. Printers, however, use CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black pigments and their mixes. This means that the color you see on screen will definitely not be the same color when it's printed. So if you're not too particular with the colors, you can just leave it to RGB and it should not be a problem. You can always convert this later on, but of course, remember that the colors will change as you convert it. If you are looking into doing art prints, you may consider using CMYK to begin with for less problems. For me, I usually stick with the RGB color profile since my work is mostly black and white. Next up would be time lapse. If you want to record a time lapse as you work, you can turn this feature on. For me, I just leave it on the default 1080p and choose studio quality. That way, I can record my work and then share it on Instagram at a later time. And finally, we can set up the color of our background. This is where I would usually choose black as my background. And if you want to make a background transparent, you can always select the background hidden option. Click create and that's it. You have now created your own preset that you can use every time you create a new art. And once you click on the preset, the canvas will automatically be created for you with your predefined settings and you can just do your art from there. If you need to create more, just repeat the steps we mentioned. It's a relatively simple thing to do but it saves a lot of time and headache. I always create using a preset canvas because it just makes my life easier. I don't need to change anything else and I can just jump straight to drawing the art. 
I hope this video helps you to create your own products. What type of products are you planning to create? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you again next time.